Hi guys, so today I have a story time for you guys and this story time is like it's funny kind of to look back but at the moment like it made me super mad so I have a job and at this job I'm a waiter and I've been working here for maybe for like fully working here maybe like two years almost so I mean like I I'm per like a lot of people know me like customers know me um like the usual people that go in know me and anyway so I remember that day like we were like really super busy and there's like a bar area and then there's like the restaurant area which nobody really works at the bar area like we don't really have a bartender like we just use the bar like to um get drinks and then um take them out to the restaurant area so nobody really stays at the bar area uh if that makes any sense but we do see people in the bar area like if we're busy and uh like the the restaurant's full or either if like the people want to um sit in the bar area so anyway um i had noticed this lady uh she she was drinking a margarita because it's a mexican restaurant so she was drinking a margarita but like when i noticed her she was crying with a guy and like uh, the guy was hugging her and she was crying and she just like really looked upset about something, you know. But yeah, I really didn't like give much um, thought to it, you know. We all have those times, you know. We, like, I mean, I don't, but based off like movies, like whenever you're heartbroken or something, you go into a bar and you drink. And this lady was um, maybe in her, like, 40s, I want to say. She had short hair. Um, and I don't know her name. And if I did, I wouldn't say it either way. But anyway, um, she was crying to the guy. The guy was hugging her. And, you know, like, that's just something that I saw, like, from the corner of my eye. Because, you know, I was busy. I was running back and forth. I was getting drinks, so... I didn't really pay much attention to them so then um I think the guy had left to either go pay or go to the restroom but at the time uh, she was alone and then um the dishwasher from the place he had come in to put away any glasses that were already washed okay so he was putting away some glasses and then um that's when I walked in the bar. I was getting a soda. And um the lady was like she said she had said something to him. And he didn't really pay much attention to her because first of all, he doesn't know English. Second of all, he um he knew she was drunk, so he didn't really want to get involved with anything. So she was like, "Hey, don't you speak don't you speak English?" Uh, you piece of shit and then like she grabs her like um bill and she like throws it at him and then um like he didn't even turn to look at her or nothing like he just kept um putting away the glasses even though she threw a paper at me and or at him and then honestly if I was in his position like as soon as she threw that paper at me like that would have been my like um you know my point where like I snapped but um he didn't he didn't turn to look at her or anything and then I mean she was already drunk so she starts grabbing um where she was sitting she was sitting in the like little bar area that kind of like turns around you know and she was seated uh by a refrigerator that we have so all the way in the corner there's a refrigerator full of uh, beer glasses. So when they're freshly washed, we don't put them in the refrigerator right away because they're hot and they can explode. So we let them like cool off and like outside the refrigerator. And that's where she was seated. 
And since I guess it really pissed her off that uh, the dishwasher wasn't really paying attention to her. So she starts throwing glasses, like the beer glasses. And then I was like, holy shit. I was like, um, the guy, like, he started backing up because he didn't want to. And he ended up getting hit um, by a glass in his head. Um, but, like, he started backing up because obviously, like, it's dangerous, you know, to, like, stay there. And that's when, like, I was like, stop you need to stop i'm gonna call the cops on you if you don't stop like i started getting closer to her and i was like uh trying to get her to stop and that's when one of her like customers that comes in there like maybe every week or every two weeks he like runs to the bar because he was seated um in the restaurant area but he runs to the bar he like start he grabs her takes her out of the restaurant and uh basically like tackles her on the ground by this we already we're already calling the police um so the police is basically already called they're on their way and the guy like he's tackling him her down the customer's tackling her down and she knows like she's smart she knows uh that basically right now at least where I live, if you're injured or something, like, the cops won't take you. So, she, like, took her head. She, like, uh, went forward. Then she slams it on the concrete. And then she started bleeding, like, really bad. Uh, she bit the customer, the customer so that he would let her go. Which was, like, crazy. But, like, it wasn't just, like, a little bite, you know? It was, like, really... It was, like, a really hard bite. Uh, like, he had, like, marks. And um, the ambulance people asked him if uh, he even wanted to get treated. Because, you know, I could get infected. Uh, but anyway, like, she was bleeding over here. Then the cops came. And she was like, oh, they... Um, it's their fault it's their fault um i'm over here i'm nice and this and that and like she was basically trying to seem like she was the innocent one like oh look what he did to me he did this to me um i'm hurt you guys should not be trying to question me because i'm hurt you guys should just get an ambulance for me take me to the hospital i'm hurt i'm hurt and then um the cop like maybe 10 20 minutes um the cops were just like they started realizing that she it, like it was her fault and that she was just like a kind of crazy lady so um so then she um the cops were just kind of like still questioning her and stuff and then um she like she kind of lost her her shit excuse the word so she kind of lost it and she um again and she like goes like tries to like push the cop uh this cop was hispanic he was mexican but he I, he didn't speak any English. He just looked Hispanic, like his parents were Hispanic, but he never really learned English. Um, or Spanish, I mean. So he didn't know any Spanish, so I had to translate to him uh, from the dishwasher because the dishwasher didn't know any English. So um, the lady, she was like, you Mexican piece of shit, you don't, you shouldn't deserve to be a cop, um, you shouldn't even deserve to be here, like, she was just saying, like, this racist, uh, stuff to a cop, so the cop, like, tackled her to the floor, and he was like, oh, like, you could get, um, more charges for assaulting a cop, because she pushed him, and then, um, that clock that cop was just kind of like 
screw this, I'm not gonna deal with this. Cause there was two cops. Um, one was a Hispanic one and then there was uh, another American guy. And I'm, any disclaimers, I'm not trying to be racist or anything. Like I'm just explaining to you guys uh, in detail the situation. So the Hispanic cop, uh, he was just kind of like, screw this, like I'm not going to deal with this. So he ended up leaving and um, the American cop stayed. And honestly, from my experience, I think that the Hispanic cop like didn't really care. Like he was just kind of like, this is just a crazy lady, like it's nothing really to worry about. Because when I was testifying and I was giving him... Um, the story he just really didn't pay much attention to me but when um when I talked to the American cop uh he actually like made me feel that he like cared and he wanted to help out you know so like he actually listened to what I had to say when I told him the story and um I just I feel like I seemed more um protected i guess you could say quote unquote protective with that cop um but anyway yeah they got um they got they got all the information they ended up leaving and they took her in an ambulance but she didn't really she so they took her in an ambulance but she didn't get arrested since she was injured which I think it was just kind of like a plan of her to, for her not to go to jail since she like knew. I think she was like from the army or something because that, that's what she, she kept yelling, oh, I'm from the Navy or the army. I can't remember. And, um, you guys don't know who I am. I can do, um, you guys don't know who you're messing with. And she was just like rambling and saying things like that so into this like she was actually like she actually seemed like really drunk but she had only drinking one margarita you know so like she probably didn't have high tolerance in drinking um which was one of the questions that was asked how much did you have to drink she said one margarita um she said they asked her if she had high tolerance in drinking and she said no but like she was like really like manipulative i guess you could say because like two weeks later the um the icc i can't remember what they're called but basically it's a association of um like i just i really don't know but basically uh it was this guy that's in charge of um making sure that restaurants are not serving more than they should to customers and so he came and he said oh like we we were told that you're serving more than you should to customers this and that like basically like she tried to make it seem like we served her more than she should have um so basically, uh, that's what happened. So they were like, oh, we're going to keep an eye out on you to make sure that you're not serving more than sh you should to customers. You should only serve customers two drinks. Um, so anyway, basically, that's what ended up happening. Um, she actually did, like, throw some glasses at me. So I didn't really get cut. The only thing that... Um, I did get caught a little bit uh, at the bottom of my foot because I didn't realize it at the time. But later on that night, I realized that um, my shoes were stained with blood. Um, I guess a glass had gone inside my shoe and I had stepped on it, on the glass, and it ended up cut cutting me. So, But nothing really um, harsh happened to me or to the dishwasher. Um, I feel like it was just kind of like the crazy experience. But anyway, that was my story time. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button down below. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.